Hey guys, today we have more F2L tricks, such as this one. So here we need a solved corner and the edges in the next lot flipped. So the algorithm goes like this. This algorithm is really good because it saves you from having a solved corner and edge in the top layer as your last F2L slot, which can be quite slow. And look ahead can be a bit awkward with wide moves, but if you remember what it does, then it can be a little easier. For example, this block back here doesn't move, and this, if you just memorize where it goes, and this, you memorize where it goes, and it makes it really easy to see what the next pair is. And since it's LU, you can mirror it to the back, so it's RU, so that would look like this. The first four moves is like a wide sexy move, and then one more move. If you have this pair that needs to go into the opposite slot, it looks obvious, you can just take it out, but you can do it faster like this. Now with this pair at the back, you can do the exact same idea, but it uses two hard finger tricks, and that goes like this. First one like that, and then here you have to do this move, and then there we go. Now we have this case with white on top and the edge next to the slot but flipped. This is the case when the slot and the piece are both on front. Now, if the piece was on the front and the slot was at the back, make sure you know that you have to do sledgehammer here. From here, you can do a similar idea where you start with sledgehammer on these two, and then instead of finishing the sledgehammer, you continue and pair these together, and then do U2 with your left hand, and then F prime. You can do U2 with your right hand, and then do F prime here. Make sure that you hold your pinky underneath the S slice so it doesn't move. If both are uncomfortable, another way you could end it is with, instead of F prime, you do R prime, F prime, R, and that makes that F prime a lot easier. However, adding more moves makes it harder for look ahead, so just keep that in mind. Now for this case, which can be solved with intuitive F12 by taking it out and then inserting here, instead here you can do hedge or reverse sledgehammer, and that pairs them up to be inserted without a rotation. Now this one's a similar idea, we have this sort of thing inserting into the back, and you could, if you're facing this side, or just rotate and pair them up like this, but if you're facing this side to begin with, then you can do sledgehammer. And that pairs them up to be inserted without a rotation. Lastly, for this F2L case, where the corner's over here and the edge is over here and flipped, I'd see a lot of people would actually do this and rotate, and then rotate again. Instead, from here, F just sets them up. And you can insert, and then F prime. On the end screen here, I have a video dedicated to cases similar to that last case. That is because it is one of the worst cases, and if you use intuitive F2L, it takes a lot of rotations. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope this video helped, and I'll see you guys next time.